From that, a federal high court sitting in Umwahia has ordered the federal government to pay the leader of the indigenous people of, Ibi of Biafra, the Nanda Kano, the sum of 500 million naira as damages following his illegal abduction and human rights abuse from Kenya. The court also ordered the federal government to return him to Kenya from where he was extradited to Nigeria on the 19th of June last year. The court presided by Justice Evelyn Ayandike insisted that the extradition of Namde Kanu from Kenya without recourse to the legal process was a flagrant abuse of his fundamental human rights. Justice Ayandike held that the respondent failed to disprove the claims of his appellant applicants that he was arrested, blindfolded, tortured and chained to the ground for eight days in Kenya before his extradition to Nigeria. Mr. Kanu, through his special counsel, Aloy Jibako had approached the court challenging his extradition from Kenya. The court dismissed the federal government's objection to his, to his jurisdiction and upheld all the reliefs sought by Kanu. The court to restore Mazin Lamde Kanu to the status quo antebellum, to his status as of June, June 19, 2021. And that prayer was granted. What it means is that the government is now required to take steps to restore Mazen Namdekanu to Kenya, or if they wish, to his country of second nationality, which is the United Kingdom. And then the next most important relief, as far as we are concerned, is halting his uh, prosecution. So we are happy with the outcome, and we believe that this judgment today has strengthened the previous judgment of the Court of Appeal on 19th of, of 13th October.